Hello, everybody. I am Jules Anthony, and I'm going to I'm going to be talking about leading a, a village conference. I hope to be doing this along with Bill Radic of uh, Grassroots Institute Economics. We had discussions, and we agreed to collaborate. But since he's already submitted his nomination, this is a separate one, and I hope there's a possibility of combining this later on. Basically, the way I see it is that there's a challenge and an opportunity. Rural villages have significant factors of production, including land, labor, and capital in the form of access to digital technology, basically mobile phones. Everybody has a mobile phone, and at least 10% have you know, smartphones in a, almost any, any village. The economic return in villages to investments are extremely high, and at the same time, the interest rates in developed economies are close to zero. So the way, I mean, in a market economy, there should be a natural flow from the, from the areas of low interest rates, any in investments taking place in, into areas of high interest rates for the sake. But the obvious, you know, a question which pops up is, is then is that these are, you know, very primitive villages, there's a factor of trust. But crypto economic systems have the ability to create decentralized trust in many forms. So this should be uh, an, a challenge which can be met. And we believe that rural villages can be self growing being with water and food is huge, can be sustainable, it can be resilient. And but 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 many but many technologies, technological inter intervention that rural villages have not really succeeded. Jeffrey Sachs Billion Villages project, after spending 150 million, MIT's uh, uh, the, one, lap, one laptop per child of you know, Nicholas de, uh, Ponte, even, even, even community currencies, they have not had the impact which we thought they should have. And uh, Web3 token ecosystem initiative, they could also go the same way. They fail, these, these above approaches fail because the instrumentalist in approach, assuming the technology itself could transform the, the rural village ecosystem. Web3 technologies are very exciting. Augmented voting accounts, automatic market makers, DAOs, metaverse, provenance, traceability, a whole range. They're, they're especially relevant. What will fail or not have the required impact if they are not looked upon in the appropriate context by addressing first the basic needs of the village population, which is, the, which is basically a Maslow hierarchy of, of needs. You see. Like, like it starts off with, with, with you know, uh, uh, self-sufficiency in, in potable water, food, create dietary services, processing, service and treat. The, the sort of development should uh, progress in this, in, in this uh, you know, uh, direction roughly. Not absolutely, but and every, every stage has, has, this, has this under underlying core technology like potable water as really what harvesting and all that. This, thing. this has to be kept in mind. Purpose of tokens can incentivize these communities to develop on these lines. Very important. And what happens when you introduce a token system to incentivize this particular development in this regard? After achieving water and uh, self sufficiency in, in, in food, which is like, and, you, and it's possible also to have an equitable distribution so that everybody has, uh, everybody has, for, has food apart from water, it's got a liberating effect and it, and it can actually kick off which is cycles of this thing. And normally, I mean, I, currency should happen at, uh, at this particular stage, but it's not absolutely necessary. It can happen earlier also, but theoretically. You see. At the moment, we are actually focused on, on, on modeling a typical village economy in Africa in, in the uh, village economy because it's much simpler. The sole intention of actually how to boost per capita consumption from locally produced food to meet the minimum, to make it self-sufficient. We also look at circular economics, by which we mean we try to retain the value, value generated within the village to, to the extent possible within the uh, village itself. And if it's re, uh, retained within the system, and if, the, if there's a circular flow, like uh, say grain is processed into, uh, into flour and flour is processed into say some sort of a bread, and, and that is for, for the, and, and you know, there's a flow within the, the thing. Basically, theoretically, we see that it's, it's got a compounding effect and, and kind of in an ideal situation, theoretically, it never happens in practice, you get exponential returns. This is the fundamental basis for, for, for the rule by, by which uh, these type of web technology can fundamentally transform uh, any ecosystem bottom up. The thing. 
but, but for the same. Imagine the impact of interacting with village dows against a mycelium type of information flows. That's the thing. Essentially, an emergent, well designed village commons could completely transform village ecosystems bottom up quite er 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 radically. That's my thing. Thank you.